Hey y'all, welcome back to Homestead Seed. My name is Lisa. Today we're back in the kitchen dealing with some milk again. So I had a whole bunch of extra milk that I needed to take care of because we just had Thanksgiving. So what I did is my son and my mother-in-law drink or eat a lot of cottage cheese. So what I'm gonna do is make a big batch of cottage cheese. So what I have in here, um, I placed my milk fresh from milking the cow. So it's like 100 degrees at that temperature. And then I just put it straight in this pot. So I have two gallons of milk in this pot. And then I added my mesophilic culture, which is, um, you'll, if you find a recipe, it'll tell you how much to use, but I used um, as much to uh, culture two gallons of milk. And I put a little sprinkle of some calcium chloride. And what that does, it helps it make a little bit of a more firm curd. So I just did like maybe a quarter of a teaspoon of that. And then you just let it sit overnight and it kind of um, gets uh, a little thicker. You can see it in the pot here. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna cut the curd. What I use is a wire whisk, and that will make it kind of like a small curd cottage cheese. So once you do that, then you just let it sit for 15 minutes, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead. You can see like on the top of the milk here, it has like, it's my hands are clean. It's got like cream that sits on top. Eventually that'll probably just wash out. So when I'm done draining out the cottage cheese itself, I'll just go right ahead and give this to my chickens or to my dog, or if you have pigs, you can do that. So I just kind of put the wire whisk up and down all the way around. You want to be very gentle with it at this stage. And I guess if you want like a larger curd cottage cheese, what you can do is just um, maybe use your curd cutter or a knife and just cut it a little bigger. But we like the small curd. So just a couple times like that. And now we're gonna let it rest for 15 minutes. Let those curds harden up. Okay, so now this has sat for 15 minutes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn my burner on low. And not low, low, but like maybe at your um, two. So now you're just gonna gently stir this this all the way top to bottom and then you can kind of cut through any of the masses that didn't quite get cut. That's pretty normal with making cheese. And we're gonna slowly warm this up to 112 degrees. You wanna do it as slowly as possible. Um, I think the recipe itself says to do it over like 30 or 45 minutes or something like that. I haven't necessarily needed to go by that and it comes out really well as long as you do it nice and slowly. Um, and just so you guys know, I don't think I mentioned um, at the beginning of this video that um, I started this uh, yesterday morning at nine o'clock after milking. And then it, so this sits for 24 hours at room temperature. Just make sure it's covered. And then you just wanna slowly stir this every few minutes or so. You don't need to do it constantly and check your temperature. I have one of these types of thermometers that I use. So it's starting at 81 degrees and we're gonna bring it up to 112 degrees. All right, so this has been about maybe 10 minutes. You can see the curds are starting to separate a little bit better from the liquid. And I've just been stirring this every few minutes and um, taking the temperature. I still have it on my number two setting, which is just a little bit more than low. And we'll take the temperature reading. So this is, I got some pumpkin on my finger there, um, 84 degrees. Okay, so we're doing good on temperature. All right, so I got my cottage cheese up to 112 degrees, just under, but that's sufficient. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna try to get off of the heat and turn the burner off. And then for about 30 minutes, stir, keep, keep stirring every few minutes, just like you were, but you don't want it to get any warmer than that. And then we'll, towards the end of the 30 minute, about 20 minutes, I start checking it for firmness. You just take a little piece in your fingers and kind of squeeze it and you don't want it to be real soft. Um, and that's what you check for. All right, so this has been about 30 minutes and I just checked it and it looks like the curds are firm enough that we can move on to the next step. 
So I usually just take one piece like this and you just wanna squeeze it gently. And it doesn't disintegrate, it holds its shape. It's a little squishy, but like not real soft. So now what we're gonna do is just let this sit um, undisturbed, put the lid on it for five to 10 minutes, let all the curds sink to the bottom. It'll be easier to pour off all the liquid. All right, so now that my curds have settled, I'm just gonna pour off of the, the milk or the whey or whatever it is off of cottage cheese into this bowl. And then I'll give that to my chicken, and maybe a little bit to my dog. I'm just gonna pour it until I get to the majority of the curds. And then I'll pour it into a cheesecloth lined colander. I use a flour sack towel. We're getting into some of the curds there. So I'm gonna switch over to this side where I have a colander filled with a flour sack towel. I'm just gonna pull this up just a little bit so it's not. If you can, you wanna try and scoop off as much as you can into the colander before you start pouring it. Normally I don't do this big of a batch, but I'm gonna go ahead and pour the rest of it into here. I'm gonna let it drain a little bit and then I just have a little bit left in here. And I'm gonna let it drain for maybe 10 minutes or so. And then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so now that I've let the cottage cheese drain a little bit over there in the cheesecloth, I fill, I rinse this pot out real quick, the same one I cooked the cottage cheese in. And I just filled it about halfway with some room temperature water. So I'm gonna go ahead and gather up my corners of my cheesecloth or my flour sack towel. And now what you're gonna do is kind of rinse it. So you're gonna keep it in the towel and then just kind of move it around gently with your hands. Now I do um, room temperature water first before I do ice water and this helps it not be quite as sour. So if you like a sour or cottage cheese, you'll wanna rinse this straight in ice water instead of room temperature water. So I'm just gently kind of moving it around to wash the curds in the water. Then I'm gonna empty this and refill it halfway and um, do the same exact thing with ice water. And then I'll let it drain for another 10 minutes from there. And then I'll bring you back and show you how I finish it off. Okay, so the cottage cheese finally finished draining. Um, it still has a little bit of the liquid in it, which I'll leave it so it's not a real dry cottage cheese. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I have some non-iodized salt right here. You can use canning pickling salt or anything uh, salt that doesn't have iodine in it because it will um, mess with the culture. So I usually put about one teaspoon of salt maybe just a teeny bit less than a full teaspoon of salt per gallon of cottage cheese mixture. It kind of helps it uh, have a little flavor and it also um, helps preserve it just a little bit. And then I'll just get take a little bit of cream and I'll just scoop it out just like when I'm separating cream to make butter. And usually about two ladles per gallon is about right but I'll mix it all up and taste it just to make sure. And this you just do to your own preference. If you like a, di a drier cream cheese, um, don't add as much cream. And then just mix it up and put it in the refrigerator and this will last um, about two weeks in the refrigerator. And this is how I make my raw cottage cheese. So I'll just mix it up and show you what it looks like. You can see you know, the nice small curds. You just wanna do it gently so you don't break all your curds. And we like to add a little bit of honey or some jam to this. Maybe sprinkle some granola on top. Delicious snack or breakfast or lunch or dinner. All right, let me know if you guys give this a try and how you like it.